you know? And like, I think for a lot of people, they think like if you're successful, like all of a sudden, like you get like a green, like you get like some card in the mail that says like, you're going to be totally satisfied and happy for the rest of your life. It, it doesn't happen like that. <laughs> People from my generation, I'm sure you guys are watching and you guys know exactly who Linkin Park were, their popularity, and even now their popularity as well, um, and the impact that they had and how the, the youth were able to relate to them. The lead singer of Linkin Park, Chester Bennington, committed suicide. And this just raises so many questions and it's very profound and it's very important that we take something from this because there's just so much like where do you start chester bennington was part of i would say and it is even till today one of the most successful groups in this day and age in terms of popularity chester had it yeah, like you and I, we look for views, popularity, recognition, validation. He had all that. He was a lead singer of the band, the lead singer. He had a very good voice and he had a steady job that a lot of us aspire towards. He was very good looking. Uh, he had well, white privilege. He was married to an ex-model. He had six kids. I mean, what? did this guy not have but yet he reached such a stage in his life that he chose death over all of that i mean he left behind six kids an ex-model yeah fame and fortune i mean on that day i remember this was a couple of days ago i saw lincoln park i saw a lincoln park video in the in the trending section and it had nine million views in one day now i didn't clock what happened i only figured out today and I went straight on my news apps and I was like, let me find out what's going on. Top news, not there. Celebrity gossip, celebrity news, he's not there. This only happened a couple of days ago and it's like the guy's already forgotten and he's like so famous. I mean, it raises questions like, what's gonna happen when you and I pass away? I mean, when nobody's, who's gonna care? I mean, this guy, had whatever you and I are made to aspire from the adverts that we see, the way the celebrities are pushed forward, the films, music videos, you know, adverts on buses, you name it. Yeah, this culture is pushed on us hardcore. Now, I released a video on celebrity and depression. I missed out this guy. Apparently, he talked about depression before as well. And of course, it's very difficult to say exactly what caused his suicide. No one can really say that for certain. I mean, people are speculating and I'm sure if you look at his history, I mean, he was abused when he was a kid. His parents got divorced. There's history of substance abuse. But I guess when you reach a certain stage, you've got money, you can hire, you know, psychiatrists or whatever. But guys, that never really truly helps. I mean, the wound always leaves scars behind, yeah? And a lot of you guys watching, you have families that love you, you've got a very good childhood, but you just spoiled. You spoil people. And then we listen to their music and we're like, yeah, yeah, we've been through this, we've been through that, yeah, I can relate. No, you can't. Some of these guys have been through, like, madness. You, just because your dad doesn't get you a PlayStation, you start getting crazy. Oh, I'm depressed. No, you're sad. Yeah, don't get me wrong. Some of you guys are depressed and even my mum when she was <laughs> helping me set up She said look Zishan It's not about how much you have. It's about what you do with the little that you have And that is really profound. It really makes you think that What is it that we actually leave behind? I guess it's the positive impact that we have on people it's the lives that we've touched that we leave behind. The hearts and minds that we've won that we leave behind. And of course, when we die, we should die in a state we long to meet Allah and Allah longs to meet us. And the only way 
you're going to be at that stage is if you live your life according to the laws of Allah as shown by the Prophet And I mean, we can look for contentment in any and every other thing. But guys, let's be frank. Allah who's created everything and who's created us hasn't put contentment in these things. Contentment lies in the remembrance of Allah. Don't forget Allah. Otherwise, like he says in the Quran, he'll make you forget yourself. Until next time, Assalamu alaikum. Uh, just one other thing, I've added two more t-shirts to smiletojannah.com so check those out.